بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين This is section 3.2 Multiplication of Matrices We studied in the previous section how to add, subtract and multiply as a matrix by a scalar, a real number and we will talk now about how to multiply two matrices A times B so if A is uh, a row matrix like this, remember we call this a row matrix, and B is a column matrix like this. So we can find or we define the product of A times B like this one. Notice that here we have one row and nth column. So this matrix is of order one by n. And this matrix is has n column and one row. So n columns, uh, sorry, uh, n rows and one column. So uh, when we multiply the, these two matrix, the number of Columns here, which is n, should be equal to the number of rows here, which is also n. This is the condition. Uh, and the answer, the result matrix, will be of order 1 by 1. So this is a matrix 1 by 1. It's only one number. How to get this number? We multiply a1 times b1 plus a2 times b2 plus A3 times B3, and so on up to An times Bn. So we will get uh, the product of these two matrices. This is an example. This matrix is 1 by 3, and this matrix is 3 by 1. Number of columns equals to the number of rows, so I can multiply the matrices. If these two numbers are different, we cannot use uh, this product, okay? It's not defined. So how to find the answer? The answer would be one by one matrix. So it's just one number. What is this number? It is negative one times two plus two times four plus negative three times negative two, which is six. So the answer is 14 minus 2 or 12. So this would be the product, the matrix 1 by 1 with the number 12. Now in general, if we have a matrix A with order M by N, okay, not 1 by N, M by N, and the matrix B of order N by P, not by one. So the mat the product matrix A B will be of order M times P. So M times P. This would be the order of the new matrix C. And N has to be equal to N. The number of columns in A has to be equal to the number of rows in B. And we find uh, the entry Cij by multiplying the elements in the row I with the elements in the row J. Okay, row I in A times row J in B will give you the element, the number in the position Cij. Okay, so for example, to find C11, you multiply the first row, the first row of A by the first row, the first column, sorry, of B. So A11, B11, plus A12, B21, plus, plus, up to A1N, BN1. This will give you C11, one number. And you continue like this. So this is how we define the product. So for example, to find A times B here, OK, 
okay, A, B would be equal to. Notice that uh, the order of A, I have three rows and two columns. And the order of B, I have two rows and four columns. So two equals to two, that's good. I can find the product. And what would be the order of the product matrix? It would be of order three times four. So I will have three rows and four columns. How to obtain them? To obtain this number, where is this number? The first number, where is it? It is in the first row, first column. So I take the first row of A and multiply by the first column of B. So what is the answer? The answer would be three times A plus four times E. So this would be the first uh, entry of this matrix. All right, now let us find the second entry, the entry here in this position. Well, I'm still in the first row, but the second column. So I need to multiply the first row, three, four, but this time by the second column of the matrix B. So three times B plus four times F. Now I need the element in the first row, third column. So I keep the first row of A and multiply now by the third column. This will give me 3C plus 4G. And the last entry in the first row would be 3D plus 4H. Multiplying the first row of A by the last column of B. Now, to obtain the elements in the second row, I am here uh, in, the, in the first entry, uh, in the, the entry in the second row, so second row of A, first column, so first column of B. So two times A plus five times E. And then I multiply the second row by the second column. So two times B plus five times F. And then the second row by the third column. So 2C plus 5G. And then the second row by the last column. So 2D plus 5H. And finally, the, the elements of the third row in the product AB. Now I multiply the third row of A by all the columns of B. So I get 6A plus 10E, 6B plus 10F, 6C plus 10J, 6, 10G, and 6D plus 10H. So this is the matrix uh, AB, and it consists of three rows and four columns. Again, another example, how to find A, B. Well, this is two by two, and this is two by two. So A, B would be two by two. So first, I multiply the first row by the first row, the first column. So three times one is three, plus two times three plus six, three plus six is nine. And now the first row times the second column. Three times two is six, plus two times one, so the answer is eight. Now I use the second row in A to multiply by the columns of B. One times one is one, plus zero, so this is one. One times two plus zero, so this is two. So this is the matrix A, B. Well, the matrix B, A would be now I have to start by B, not A, because it's B times A. So I take the first row of B 
and multiply by the first column of A. So 1 times 3 plus 2 times 1, that's 5. Then 1 times 2 plus 0. And now I use the second row. 3 times 3, that's 9, plus 1 times 1, that's 10. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 0, so this is B, A. These two matrices, as you can see, are not equal. So uh, matrix multiplication is not commutative. Pay attention to this. A, B is not equal to B, A in general. What is the element C23 if C equals AB? Well, this element is in the matrix C, and C is the product matrix. So this element is in the second row. So I need to multiply the second row of A by the third column of B. So C23 would be 2 times 2. That's 4. 1 times 1 plus 1. 3 times 0 is 0. So C23 is 5, which means when we multiply A times B, and this is what we need to do here in the second question. Now, what is the order of this matrix? This is 2 by 3. What is the order of this matrix? 3 by 3. So we can multiply them. And the order of the product would be 2 by 3. So the order of this matrix would be 2 by 3. I start by multiplying the first row of A by all the columns of B. So by the first column, 1 times 1 plus 2 times 3, that's 7. Plus 0 times negative 2, that's 0. The second column, 1 times 0, 2 times 1, 0 times 1, so it's 2. 1 times 2, 2, plus 2, that's 4. 2, now we go to the second row. 2 times 1, 2, plus 3, 5, minus 6, so negative 1. You can do it step by step or you can put it in the calculator as you wish. Uh, now, 2 times 0, 0, plus 1, plus 3, so that's 4. 2 times 2, 4, plus 1, 5, because 3 times 0 is 3. So that's it, 2 rows and 3 columns. So this is the matrix. A, B. Well, let us define the identity matrix. Identity matrix is a square matrix. It is n by n, 1 by 1, 2 by 2, 3 by 3. And it's defined like this. In the diagonal, this is called the diagonal. This is called the diagonal. The diagonal must be 1. Any entry in the diagonal is 1 and 0 everywhere else. So if we have this matrix, we call it identity matrix. This is the identity matrix of order 3 by 3 because it has 3 rows and 3 columns. We call it capital I. Okay, capital I. Now, what is the definition of capital I? If you multiply A times I, or i times a, the result would, would be a, because if it is it because it's the identity matrix, so it doesn't change. Like the, the identity number for multiplication, what is the identity number for multiplication? It is one. So if you multiply one by any number, you will get the number. So here we have the same, but the identity matrix is not uh, one everywhere. No, it is one in the diagonal, on the diagonal, and zeros everywhere. So, in this case, you see that AI equals IA. So, in this case, the product is commutative. So, the product usually, in general, is not commutative, but in some cases, it would be commutative, like when we multiply by the identity matrix. Write the 2 by 2 identity matrix. Well, 
the two by two identity matrix would be two by two, and I have one in the diagonals and zeros everywhere else. So this is I2. Now, given A, show that AI equals IA equals A. So let us multiply, let us find AI. AI, four, negative seven, ter 13 and two, let us multiply this by the identity matrix, the two by two identity matrix. Go ahead. Four times one plus zero, that's four. We multiply the first row by the first column. Then the first row by the second column. Four times zero, zero, minus seven times one is negative seven. 13 times one is 13 plus zero. 13 times 0 is 0, plus 2 times 1, that's 1. And this is exactly the matrix A. Also, you can try multiplying IA. So this is indeed the identity matrix for multiplication. Now we multiply the first row in I by the first column. 1 times 4 plus 0 times 13, that's 4. 1 times negative 7 plus 0, that's negative 7. 0 times 4 plus 1 times 13, that's 13. 0 times negative 7 plus 1 times 2, that's 2. And this is again the matrix A. So in fact, A times I equals I times A equals A. Compute AB. Okay, let us compute AB. Multiply the first row by the first column. 2 times 2, 4, minus 4, that's 0. Second column. 2 times negative 6, negative 12, plus 3 times 4, 12, that's 0. Okay. Take the first, the second row with the first column. 3 times 2, 6, minus 6, that's 0. Then 3 times negative 6, negative 18, plus 18, that's 0. Wow, so the product is the 0 matrix. Notice that A is not 0 matrix, and B is not the 0 matrix, and their product gives you the 0 matrix. This will never happen with the real numbers. You know, if X, uh, if A, times b numbers if the product of two numbers is zero then either a is zero or b is zero or both are zeros so this is when dealing with numbers but matrices no we have seen here a is not the zero matrix b is not the zero matrix and there the product will give you the zero matrix so can the product of two matrices be a zero matrix even if neither matrix is a zero matrix, the answer is yes. And that's the proof. Does BA result in a zero matrix? Let us check. Let us find BA. So B is the matrix 2, negative 6, negative 1, 3. And A is 2, 4, 3, 6. Let us multiply these two and see the result. 2 times 2, 4. Negative 18, negative 14. So it's not the zero matrix. The answer is no. Because this number is not zero. 2 times 4 is 8 minus 12. That's negative 4. Negative 2 plus 9 is 7. Negative 4 plus 18 is 14. So this is not the zero matrix. So again here, this is a proof that AB is not equal to BA in general. This is the end of the section. I hope you mastered matrix multiplication by now.